Yo, what's good? Don't flop all fucking day. You know the score. We're back here at Brixton Jam for the millionth time. You know the deal. We're here on a Sunday. Shouts to all the fans for giving up their Sunday to come out. It's April Fool's, the fifth annual April Fool's event, but it is the end of May, so shit got a bit crazy. We don't flop, so we have to delay it. But I appreciate everybody's patience and all that shit. We got a normal three-round judge, don't flop, old school kind of rap battle coming up right now. First MC of the day, I'm introducing. We got Heretic on my left. Make some noise. Let's go. Yeah. And on my right hand side, make some noise for Bizzo, let's go! Yeah. Right. Heretic won the flip, it's a judge battle, we've got three judges, three 90 seconds or whatever, he won the flip, he chose Bizzo to go first. Round one, April Fool's 2015, let's go. Yo, they told me I was facing Heretic, and I shouldn't take what this one says lightly, cause he's soon to be a name that fans in Don't Flop get hyping. His name's based around religion, so you might find this Don's blessed highly, but my reply is that his content couldn't beat me if he had God's help writing. He's, he gave me another kid who's made his bed to lay his head, but he won't wake again like a cot death rising, cause he's still a rookie behind a round like this is mock test driving. If we battled last year, victory for me would be a lot less likely, cause they thought Bizzo was less frightening, but now the beast been seen like a lot Ness sighting. When I'm, when I'm on set, violence, busy's back. Now nah, fuck it, there's no reintroduction needed. Undefeated whenever it's a London feature. So you're about to see me hunt and bleed him. I hope no one in this club is squeamish, cause I turn a rapper into lunch and meat, but that's why he's underneath me, cause Heretic just doesn't eat it. But I could tell he was a her before I even found out this cunt was vegan. <laughs> I found it hard to connect with the crowd that used to struggle to prep and come with ether but now the appetite's back and I'll never be done with eating I've been making myself sick like I've become bulimic that's why I'm running away with this like the summit of the Bundesliga Boss, a boss, a bundled meaner so you're going to lose in a box like a Dover shipment Manny knows the punches that I throw are different so this bout may weather on if he can go the distance what's heavy bars with growth persistent to repetition with no resistance fuck a joke or dose of wisdom based on opponent's skin tone or pigment you won't see the nuclear when this mister burns from punches cause when the power plants you'll sleep on screen like Homer Simpson yeah. Yeah. so quit thinking that you're pole position claiming to be in all these classics that we can't recall like Troy McClure it's dumb oh. <laughs> built an act as one to watch but to me I just see you boring and young you've never battled someone before who's as raw with this tongue so I've been given a mission it's important it's done it's like don't flop have you built me a DeLorean son cause they sent me back to the future to make sure that you're sunned <laughs> so perform all you want cause when it comes to Harry he ain't got a pen I rate cause I can predict the mediocrity the bars that he'll send my way when each one sinks like it's a lead rhyme sprayed so he better have improved or I'm a countdown from 10, 9, 8 and if he hasn't matched up with any gem I say and his rap's poor this a crash course through the glass shore you'll see his whole life end by pain meaning I'll have Harry hanging out the window if this another deadline day mm. <laughs> So, you said some shit against Kid Verbal about posh kids ruining the culture. As an angle, you can have that. See, I'd rather be sincere with it than fake shit trying to act bad, but you never found your own personality. So if you claim to be authentic, let me backtrack to that time you said wearing your snapback gave you trap swag. <laughs> you make... <laughs> you make auto-tuned pop songs about pulling girls in nightclubs. Straight facts, you're a walking cliche that this entire scene should hate, man. You're that guy who's clearly too old to be at a student night trying to gate crash in December. <laughs> in who's clearly too old to be at a student night trying to gate crash in December in Preston in a pitch black club who's still wearing his Ray-Bans. <laughs> you great goose wanker. <laughs> Yeah. You, like well, going, you like going out for a night, man, I get it, but does it never occur to you that your entire life is generic? The most weak of trap flows, a pair of Dre beats, he has those, you're just a top... <laughs> <laughs> the most weak of trap flows, a pair of Dre beats, he has those, you're just a top knot away from saying fleek and bounce loads and... <laughs> You're just a top knot away from saying fleek and bounce loads and popping out after a gym sesh for a cheeky <laughs> now. <laughs> Your pop songs about getting laid. When according to Facebook, you're a Catholic. 
Now I kind of want to get you to debate it, because all in that doctrine, that text you view is sacred, it says stay celibate till marriage. So with sex, this dude's frustrated, that's why a heretic is mentioned when you're excommunicated, but... <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. <laughs> I didn't have sex with your ex-girlfriend. There's no way that could even be true. But judging by your set of religious beliefs, fuck it, neither did you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, pop songs about getting laid, and you used to be a street rapper. What on earth are you thinking? Because you went from rated on roads to the most basic of flows. It looks absurd, you're this different. Because you were calling yourself big business with sick vision. Then switched image to a shit gimmick quicker than Rick did it when he quit working in prison. Now, mm. what I'm trying to say is if you're like 25 and you keep on getting hyped over some pop trap songs about how you're a beast of sex online just to convince your non-existent fan base that you're beating every night, you're a certified fuckboy and should reassess your life. <laughs> Yeah. See, I had no motivation to write for him, cause the act's poor, it's true, and I don't give a fuck if he's liked by any fans brought with you, cause it's all cheap humour he uses, and that's sports issues, cause you've battled no one like me before, so a crash course is due, when you start to see a joke unfold, when it's a bar that this man walks into, yeah, you've got a bad, you've got a bad, you got a bad storm with you, cause now I'm back from illness, I'll make sure that your entire gimmick's gone, this a kid's mirror's image with chicken pox, why? Cause this is sickness you only witness once mm. All I know is bars like I've been life in prison Stop cause those sketchy lines are drawn out So illustrates from me will help you get the picture done See time's up, he ain't a top cat but this pussy trash instead Cause I cook in front of judges like it's master chef The right hook, the right hook It's hard to stomach, he'll be catching breath If his wife look, you'll see the painkiller like Jackson's death But you're in massive debt, cause what's, a, what's laughter from an actor to a rapper's reaction from bars? This is graffiti he's plastered over the Sistine Chapel, this kid just attacking the art. See his character improves with the jokes he provides, thinking, uh, thinking humour will turn this character hard. But trying to inhale all this laughing gas to make you seem higher than you actually are. In comparison, Star, I've made small strides but he seems to be using lunges Cause we don't spot no one sit up from him on training days like doing crunches But heretic be moving countries in Croatia soon Battling on a boat with that dude that loves him But to me that move is nothing cause <laughs> Battling with that dude that loves him, but to me that move is nothing Cause surrounded by that water will dilute his substance You're going to Croatia, bruised and punctured To tell your friends how you fell like victims of abusive husbands He won't stand out abroad cause he won't stand out abroad Cause all he has a laughs to prove is something Cause this part of the crow crop ain't known for using punches I guarantee he'll use lookalikes to gain some laughs and applause now Cause you told Rob Wilson he looked like a Chinese lesbian Heather from Fresh Meat and Short Round Then proceeded to tell Danny Jack he was Chance the Rapper and Curious George Wow and you think he's... <laughs> Curious George, wow, and you think he's raw? How? Cause you always gain reaction by matching appearances in battles And now you're in enough trouble the way you rely on lookalikes to make the jumps for you like a stunt double And now, now see that cunt buckle <laughs> <laughs> Alright, credit where it's due I went on your Soundcloud and the achievements you list in your bio are some of the best that I've seen. <laughs> it said that between 2005 and 2009 you were involved in the Preston grime scene. <laughs> see, see, he's got a tattoo on his upper arm that says, don't just dream it, live it. <laughs> Man, Bizzo's the most motivated and freest spirit. <laughs> You can never say he's constricted by people's limits because he didn't just dream about being involved in the Preston Crime. Because he didn't just dream about being involved in the Preston Crime scene between 2005 and 2009. He was really. Uh, so, um, yeah, in a freestyle, you also said. I'm Floyd Mayweather, Jesus Christ, and Eminem. What? Now, that was tight, but comparing yourself to those guys, wow, I'm surprised, because you 
have achieved way more than those clowns in your life. Because <laughs> where was Floyd Mayweather <laughs> in 2005? <laughs> went all the way down for your night and you went to promote the event in the town you reside and made it go from profoundly dry to astoundingly hyped? And where, where was Jesus? <laughs> Four bloody people, in 2009, when your mate producer Keith broke his power supply and you spat an hour of grime without any mics and it sort of sounded alright. <laughs> Nowhere to be found, am I right? Now, let me just be really clear in case you can't catch it. For most of this round, I've been being a little bit sarcastic. See, <laughs> being involved in the Preston Grime scene between 2005 and 2009 has never given Biz a payday, and talking about being on the scene doesn't stop you from being shit like HK, and it means that there's no, and it means that there's no originality when you come to Don't Flop and Spit like an awkward misfit northern cystic, you sorry. <laughs> Because cloning his structures are the only reason you ever got a win, but since you're so wooden when you perform, you just copy him like Mokujin. Mm. Oh, shit! Yes. Yo. See, I needed to see the pressure that this kid can handle. Cause you all rate him highly, but to me that whole support just is a gamble. Previous opponent should have been a simple tackle, but you turn a one-sided bout to a tight-knitted scramble. You edged kid before he'd even hit the channel, somehow ended close against Wilson's ammo and would have lost if Danny Jack hadn't took that different angle. But, <laughs> which means your name religious-wise there is a side, cause there's commandments to which this kid's obliged and lived in ample, like thou shall not kill, cause you haven't done that in a single battle. Oh, wow. You'd be better off to swim the channel to further recognition, but I've, I've arrived to worsen his position. Each and every word he hears will leave him in a nervous disposition, this weak fella is under prepped for these stakes like a learner in the kitchen, but bees devilish, the crowd have had visions, I'd kill you like a murder premonition, you'll see therapist, cause I don't care how, care how his name worded with religion, I'll leave heretic scene derelict like a church's demolition, you're getting hurt in this collision, cause there's a difference between making the fans laugh as a hobby to gain a reaction from rapping and dismantling properly, I don't need to play that religious chord to beat him, you're just Morgan Freeman, you only acting all godly, which doesn't take away the fact that you're battling shot. He's a bad gymnast, we never see you catching a body. <laughs> He's a bad gymnast, we never see you catching a body. Cause previous opponents you can't brag as a homie. Cause we can see you only just beat kid Danny Jack and then Robbie. I'd be ashamed to go on screen with those embarrassing bodies. Properly, cause you're just doing this to find something that you're good for. It's sad but true. But to bizzle it like final day of football. For me to get promotion, you have to lose. So me see defeat at the hands of you, that ain't happening. Like believing Rob Wilson can batter someone black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Wilson can batter someone black and blue. It's all down from here, and you ain't got a parachute. All his his hardest hitting punches are below the belt when attacking dudes. But my name's straight for the head though. Like his lamis up in parachute. <laughs> Death's a Death's a due course for everybody gassing you Cause accepting this battle proves that you just fucked up royally Like Harry in a Nazi suit You spent years battling for Wrapped in Wire No, I've never heard of it either And they gave you a title <laughs> shot They gave you a title shot Massive match The prize was a little clap from fans And a plastic fucking wrestling belt that the champ could have <laughs> But you lost now, can you think of a sadder fact than you spent two years of your life trying to become the most relevant guy in a totally irrelevant league and didn't even manage that? Oh, and, it's, wow. and it's cause your performance is awful. It's agony when you spit raps, you're nervous, uncertain, so tragically that you've been trash. Your fantasy of a big stance is a fallacy if you think that you won't crack under this pressure like Andy Neiman in Whiplash, mm. but apparently, Bizzo stepped his performance up recently. But what does that really mean, dude? Just because you shout your voice a bit louder these days, don't think you're going to breeze through. He's there like, no, I also take breaths in my bars when I don't need to. Because <laughs> that's what battlers that I've seen do. Three rounds of that. <laughs> Fucking hell, would that be torture? Now you'd reckon that was slaughter and set and match were yours, but when you rap like you do, for me the only effect is massive boredom. You're the human equivalent of a tepid glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and you can say that I joke too much and it's a style that I never come technical with so let me address it with this you can fire out multis on irrelevant shit till your frenulum splits there's still a deficit in the intelligence wit to get me to think that what you're penning is sick so remember this biz bite those Yunnan schemes even minus the aggression of this stay stretching your shit with no credit to give but the first time someone mentioned this shit for the theft of his shit you should have fled to the sticks like the kettleman's did cause you slur cause you slur I don't know. <laughs> Cause you slur, you stumble and your energy dips Like every festival kid who experiments with his first ever ketamine binge And that's why in, that's why in every sentence you pen you relive That failed attempt to blow up like November the 5th Briggs, oh. Marsh team, just watched a pretty good battle there uh, I'm gonna go 2-1 Heretic I think Vizzle started off nice, he had some sick bars a Couple slips in the second and he just lost Steve in the third uh, Heretic, sick performance, out jolt him, out performed in 2-1 Heretic yeah, it's pretty black and ready for you at that one. Flex. Um, I think Heretic took the battle. Bizzo was sick, like he's really improved. But I think Heretic was breaking down, man. Like, he just style on him. That whole fucking Preston Grimes and shit. Like, Bizzo's sick, he just needs to work on his performance. But I feel like he's kind of doing the same kind of shit that we've seen before. It's Heretic. Like, so, yeah. Cool. So, well, Kinch, I think Heretic just edged this battle. It was a um, content rich punchline heavy battle but I like the angle I think the fact he picked apart his uh, whole dodgy resume from 2009 that was the picture for me so heavy battle Yo, it's Earl back here, Mabel Fool's fifth annual event, first battle of the day, we had Heretic and Bizzo, the winner was Heretic, Mason Moses, guys.